Hello everyone, and welcome back to the wacky wild world of Wobble Dogs, where I'm currently trying to kill my puppies with sugar, it seems. Uh, just a quick disclaimer, please do not ever feed, you know, real life dogs the things we feed our Wobble Dogs. This is a science experiment gone terribly wrong, and now we are actually going to be shifting gears because we have gone to the bottom of what the birthday cake does, and now we know what donuts and macaroons do, and we still have more food we need to figure out like the fortune cookie the gelatin mold the churro the and the burnt dog biscuit the normal dog biscuit man-made dog craved just keeps your dogs as they are which i think is kind of awesome if you're trying to breed for something specific like the beautiful peacocks that we are absolutely going to be aiming for uh but we need to understand for the sake of science what uh, everything else transforms our dogs into. We have 122 donuts. Whoops. Okay. I didn't mean to have that many donuts, but I like how we actually can just completely remove that giant pile very simply uh, by- <gasps> There's mochi balls! Hello! Pivot! Pivot, 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 pivot! Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I want to feed Macaroon some mochi balls. We're gonna drop a couple in just in case Macaroon wants to go ahead and take advantage of this. <gasps> Macaroon! Are you ready to pop eight? Here, let's actually feed a Macaroon. Oh, well, they wanna eat a Macaroon. Never mind, never mind. I can respect that. They're in little tiny baby puppy isolation just for a little bit because they are so small. And we need to go ahead and figure out what they're going to turn into. Meanwhile, I wish my other dogs, you know what? I know how to make our dogs stop craving going through there. I don't know why I didn't think about this before. Like, boom. Maybe they'll all chill now. Maybe everybody will just focus on relaxing, playing in the area, focusing on the fact that you guys are all here to be able to eat infinite amounts of desserts. Apple Joy! Oh my gosh. Okay, so now Apple Joy is also getting old. Ah! Okay. Oh, and Angelique is actually going to pass away today, guys. Okay, so we're going to need to do something. Let's grab this. And then why are you guys walking into this wall? It looks so sad. Okay, we're gonna grab the mochi ball for celery. All right, hang on. Okay, celery, you're ready as a teen to pup eight, but let me go ahead. Can you please eat this just in case? And then what do we have going on with my mama mango? The mama mango, you wanna eat that just in case? Okay, so we've got some new genes that we might be able to check out in just a little bit here. So let's puppy the crew who is ready to go. And then we're gonna check to see if anybody turns into an adult. I don't think these two are gonna be young adults next because Angel Lake actually needs to go ahead and Angel Lake needs to, if they're gonna have any babies, if Angel Lake and Apple Joy are gonna have any more babies, it kind of needs to be now or they need to forever hold their peace. <laughs> oh, Angel Lake, you're so hungry. Here, come eat this mochi ball. What do you think? Do you want to join the, the, the crew? Everybody eating mochi balls? Uh, mango and like non macaroon might tell us what the mochi balls do now. All right, is macaroon gonna go blue? Please, 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 please. Oh, they're still yellow. Gosh darn, I was hoping they would go blue. But it's going really slowly. Back leg girth has gone up. Did we get, no, 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 wow, okay. I thought that might be a little bit more dramatic on some of the changes, but apparently not. Uh, let me go ahead and clean this up. And then let's check out my mango. And we'll see if there were any big changes there. Let's see, leg color from the birthday cake. And body width, head size has actually gone down. That was actually from the birthday cake too. We're getting some interesting colors with mango. And then celery. Anything with you? You're still green. Celery is just really holding tight to that celery lineage and not letting anything throw them off. So, no, 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 we're still, we're still good there too. All right. I am still full of curiosity and uncertainty about like how these things work. The mochi adds thick body, short legs. 
Um, light green legs and green body! Oons, oons, oons. That's the Mastocilius, and it does one other thing that hasn't been displayed yet. An unimpressive flora that's hard to recommend. Interesting. And then we also have the effect small from the mochi. Okay, that's adorable. I'm very excited to see where that is going to take us. And that means that I'm absolutely going to be feeding it to Macaroon. All right, so I know what those do now. I'm going to go ahead and feed them to Macaroon along with the actual mochi. Can you throw things through the windows? Can I like yeet this inflatable dog in? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can throw things through the windows. I'm gonna have to remember that. All right, let's go ahead and I feel like selecting the gelatin mold now out of curiosity. And then we'll let Angel like have a bite. And then I think we're gonna need to go ahead and try like pup baiting Angel Lake. Or not pup baiting, pardon me. Angel Lake's an adult, we can't do that. I meant making a new puppy with Angel Lake because we don't have very long with them. And <gasps> literally we don't have very long with them. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with Apple Joy. Angel Lake and Apple Joy, have they already had a pup? I don't remember. Oh my gosh, Rosebush, no. You're gonna crash my game. Angel Lake and Iceberg. Did we already make, I think we already made an A Lake and an Iceberg cross. Um, I love Apple Joy, so we're gonna, and Apple Joy, this is gonna be Apple Joy's last pup too. I panicked. I panicked, guys. <gasps> Do I have their jeans? Oh boy, Siri. Have you been naughty? Okay, we can get the jeans from the souls of the dogs now. That assists me in not freaking out, but I did realize I haven't been copy pasting them and I have not updated my my Google document in literal like donkey years. Here, let me write that down right now. While we look at all these puppies and try to decide, here, we'll decide on this one. I'm gonna actually write down <laughs> In my little notes, I have a little sheet now so we can try to like remember what we're doing. Um, but in some of our Patreon live streams, I do some admin work now. Oh, there's some really cool dogs over here. I'll be here in just a second. I need to put down Wobble Dogs Adoption Page. But I'm gonna start doing some private streams where I do like some behind the scenes of just like the admin work that needs done. <laughs> so mostly so people can remind me like, Siri, you goose. Oh my gosh, this, this dog. What is this dog? Oh my gosh. I kind of want to select it because it's like Angel Lake Reborn with some of the biggest wings I have ever seen. I think I'm going to do that. Like, look at it. It's got the biggest tail. It's like a little, it's like a little angel come to life. All right, we're gonna select this one. And then maybe we'll feed it. Let's toss it in with, with the, all of the little mochi balls to see if we can make it small. I don't really want it to be green, but Angel Lake! Oh, how did you get out? Oh, Iceberg is getting old now too. Macaroon, Macaroon, I love you, but you need to get back in here. Angel Lake! Oh, rest in peace, Angel Lake, rest in peace. Oh my gosh. Let's see, and now we at least know the firm and malleable viridium flora from from that. Oh, should I feed all these pieces to the... Well, see, the thing is, these puppies are... This pup, at least. Macaroon, are you okay? Oh, Macaroon. He just seems, like, stunned. He's just laying there sad and stunned. Oh, all right. Let's come over. And I need to pop down. We'll start releasing some of these pups soon because I feel like I feel like they're sort of like isolated. I like it better when I can just wander around and everybody's all connected now and I can see what's happening. But let's get the, let's get this new dog. Like what is going on here? These are the biggest wings I've seen. This is the most rectangle shaped dog I've ever seen. And then I feel like so we had Angel Lake. I'm gonna name this one Angel Wing because it's got huge wings. And I think, or Angel Joy <gasps> after Apple Joy, yes. Okay, we're gonna go with Angel Joy. That's a good name. And we're gonna yeet it in with Macaroon so they can really focus on all these tiny little pieces. 
And then there, yep, there goes the head. Well, I hope somebody ate some gelatin so I can figure out what it does. And here we go! Angel Joy! <laughs> some might argue this is actually a terrifying creature of uh, of some degree of disturbing repute. To which I say, don't think about it so hard. <laughs> Everything's fine. That's what I would say. All right, and actually I want to make a new little house area Just right over here to get these guys more in the sunlight so I can see what's going on and where they are Here and we're gonna we're gonna give them this section where I can actually like Get an idea of what's going on with these pups. Okay, let's do one here Where's my other door gonna go? Ah, the den is in the way! For okay, look, they're not building... <sighs> I don't want to destroy their den. I just don't want to do it. I, I, here, ooh, let's actually do a variety of walls over here. Like, isn't there a cute little hedge fence? We could put a little cute hedge fence. Yeah, like this! Oh, see? And then maybe I can just kind of put it down over here. There! That's really cute. And then we need to go ahead and move the macaroons and the mochi in there really quickly so the dogs who are supposed to be like experimenting on other things don't eat them. Got it. Doing these kinds of science experiments is sort of tricky. And then we're gonna gently yeet these two over here. There! I like that better because now we have a little bit of, like, light so I can see what's happening. Yeet! And then I'm going to actually add in the teeth. And we're going to remove some of the baby teeth just in case Angel Joy wants to eat them to stay kind of like a white coloring. But I mean, those are the biggest wings we've had on a dog yet. So I really want to see, like if they might play out and help us out. All right, there we go. But I wanna see if these wings like play out. So it's gonna be a macaroon, <laughs> mochi, bone sort of life for these little ones. But we're, we'll find out if that just works for everybody. All right, meanwhile, let me clean up all of this poop. I hope you guys are eating this gelatin. Please, like help me with my experiments. Uh, and also, Toad, if you could keep digging, that would be great. Here, I might actually turn the music off for just a bit, even though the dogs are having a great time. I feel a little bad about that. Angel Joy! Oh, I'm coming, Angel Joy! Let me just praise... Okay, I'm coming! Oh, Angel Joy, I thank you so much for bringing such joy to my life! I promise I'll take care of your pups. Goodbye! Oh. I hope that they and Doodle, Doodle did come out of the graves for a little bit there. So I hope they and Doodle at least had a good time. All right, let's see. Anybody want a pup bait for me? So I can see what, what these interesting things do. I'm gonna need a little bit more gelatin mold. Look at my, my, my mango. They look kind of like a, a when my squirrels in my tree outside fall asleep and just kind of smoosh on the ground. All right, celery, if you could eat this. Thank you. I think the gelatin like fills these guys up fast because they hardly chew it and they're like, all right, I'm good. Maybe that's why we still have so much of it. Oh, macaroon, why are you so angry? There you go. Here, eat more macaroons. Oh. They seem to get a little sick when they eat macaroons, which sucks because I need that DNA. <laughs> Kiwi Bean! Oh, you should have said something, Kiwi Bean! I didn't realize you were struggling with life so badly up here all by your lonesome. Oh, I don't like you being all by your lonesome. I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt for Kiwi Bean to be able to come and join the experiment, right? Because it's not like they're going, I mean, we'll just get more food. Did they just fall? They just fell asleep. That's pretty cute. All right. Well, <gasps> yes! Izzy Loaf is finally ready to pop eight! I'm going to praise you for no particular reason. I'm going to go ahead and we might actually see what the gelatin does now, friends. 
Meanwhile, I'm going to continue on with attempting to praise Toad for digging. So that I can have a new digging dog. I think I've been giving them too many pets instead of just praises when they dig. <gasps> Dang it! Oh my gosh, I think they were ready to puppy and I just and, like accidentally clicked it while I was telling them to dig. Phooey! Okay, well, Izzy Loaf might be about to tell us what this does. Izzy Loaf? Let's see. Um, body size? Just shot through the roof. <laughs> Is that what it does? Does it make your dogs huge? Oh my word. No. Body size just randomly mutated into that huge cut, like huge size. Green coloration and glossy sheen. So there's so many things that can make our dogs green. It was this. They ate a tooth and their body size, they like just went up by 40 like like by by um a fourth like 24 percent that was that was ridiculous also behold my pile of gelatin molds <gasps> iceberg oh my gosh no iceberg i thought we'd have more time with you who just became an adult okay we've got iceberg and we have izzy loaf literally just became an adult we're doing this this is the last the last baby that we get out of this huge chunk of iceberg we worked so hard for that big boy and they have really beautiful tails. Like, we need to get our peacock dogs over here. All right, let's do this. I think these ones look the coolest. Hello, peacock tail dogs. Hi, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so let's see. I would love to be able to get these huge peacock tails. There's one that has three tails. Thank goodness. So we're going to try to go with, like, a line of beautiful peacock dogs with just these these huge gorgeous feathery tails that are gigantic oh my gosh some of these have just the best tails look at this guy oh that's so glorious and then we want to make sure like i want to try to get like three of them but i don't want to be too greedy because look at the size of these tails and we could feed them we might start breaking into like even more specific experiments to try to feed them to get bigger and bigger tails. Oh, am I gonna be greedy? Okay, we're gonna risk being a little greedy. I kind of want, you know what? Let's actually do this. I wanna go for the big tails. Okay, I wanna risk it for the big, look at these tails. <gasps> this is truly, okay, Iceberg, you may not have left behind the, the sheer size of you, but the, the just huge tail. Oh, this is so beautiful. Look at these guys. I love them. And they have tiny little noses now. All right. I kind of feel like I should pick somebody and not be too greedy. Because I kind of feel like this is a good dog with this giant tail. And we could just work from here. There we go. Mwah. Iceberg. Thank you so much for your contributions. I feel like I shall isolate this pup and just feed them things that make big tails. The whole puphood. Rest in peace, Iceberg! Where are you? Why are you wanting to send me over there? Oh, rest in peace, buddy. Oh my goodness. And there we go. All right, guys. Well, our dessert experiment has indeed had some unintended consequences of sort of isolating some of our pups from others however we are learning valuable new data that will help us with our wobble dog science uh, and we do have a couple of new puppies where did you go macaroon oh thank goodness i thought i thought macaroon actually had corrupted our study but we're all right we're all right all right let's hatch toad and then we can go ahead and call it a successful experiment for the day so slight shifts maybe in coloration i don't notice much but there has been a little bit of shift in coloration and otherwise like toad still toad okay sometimes you get a big mutation sometimes you don't but all right guys thank you so much for joining me if you guys could do please leave a like for all of our new little pups and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, 
stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!